Lewis putting the ball on a play. He gets it out deep, and Havlicek steals it over the stand Jones. Havlicek stole the ball. It's all over. It's all over. Johnny Havlicek is being mobbed by the fans. Johnny Havlicek stole the ball. That Game 7 call came 20 years before I was born. But even for me, it feels like a moment frozen in time. John Havlicek was the face of many great Celtics moments, but that's one that covers generations. Havlicek, he'd been suffering from Parkinson's disease. Rest in peace, Hondo. John Havlicek, Celtics legend, dead at 79. Sad news from the Celtics. John Havlicek died last night at his home in Jupiter, Florida. He was 79. The man known as Hondo, a 13-time All-Star in 16 seasons, won eight titles in Boston, a Basketball Hall of Famer, and his number 17 will forever hang in the rafters. Welcome into Nesson Sports Update. It's presented by Town Fair Tire. I'm Jemai Webster. John Havlicek's career ended in 1978, but his impact on the game and the Celtics will be felt from here into eternity. Johnny Most call in the 1965 Eastern Finals, Havlicek stole the ball, is and will always be one of the most iconic in NBA history. Here is a portion of the statement issued by the Celtics last night, quote, he was a great champion both on and off the court and in the community. His defining traits as a player were his relentless hustle and wholehearted commitment to team over self. He was extraordinarily thoughtful and generous, both on a personal level and for those in need. John was kind and considerate, humble and gracious. He was a champion in every sense. We are thankful for all the joy and inspiration he brought us. Here is visual of Havlicek's great NBA career, 13 All-Star selections, eight-time world champion, including finals MVP in 1974. 10 years later, he joined the hallowed Basketball Hall of Fame. Now time for additional insight on Havlicek's career, spent entirely with the green team. When he first joined the team, uh, he didn't shoot that much. And Red said, what's the problem here? He says, he says, I don't know whether to shoot or not, Red. And Red says, and when the ball hits your hand and you see the basket, you've got to go, you got the, uh, the green light. And that's, that's all he had to tell him. I remember when he was a rookie, we thought he was kind of a gunner. He always needed to have the ball take shots. And of course, then he, de he developed into this wonderful team player, great defender, guard or forward, um, never was out of breath run the floor all day. He just run, 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 run. And I'll call him the leaping leaner. Uh, I, that shot against Phoenix in that triple overtime. And, but that's the way, that's, that's his game. He just leans toward the basket and throws it in, but he just, he runs and he runs. I remember reading a story on him back in the, uh, in the late 60s, early 70s. He had a pulse rate probably lower than anybody playing pro sports at the time, and that enabled him to constantly run and run and run and run. I mean, he, he never uh, used to get tired. The only other people who played more minutes than he did for a concentrated period of time were centers who basically ran from the dotted line to the dotted line, or maybe foul line to dotted line, or dotted line to foul line. John Havlicek ran end line to end line, and most stars play 38 to 40 minutes. John Havlicek played 48 any time it was necessary, which at two positions, each an all-star level, giving his coach a tremendous advantage. He was the prototypical sixth man on, on some of those great Celtics teams in the, uh, in the late 1960s, but uh, he, he became a, a focal point uh, of, of the uh, next group with, uh, with Dave Collins and Paul Silas. He became a, a, a real uh, dominant player. Uh, he has to go down as one of the all-time best athletes ever, and who will ever forget the, uh, the Havlicek stole the ball back uh, against the uh, Philadelphia 76ers back in, uh, in 1964. Greer's putting the ball on a play. He gets it out deep, and Havlicek steals it. John Havlicek has not been equaled in his two-position capacity since he retired in 1978. There's been nobody like John Havlicek. He was really a miniature bird 
in terms of the versatility and the complexity of his game. Remains the only Celtic ever to lead his team in scoring, rebounding, and passing in the same season, 1969-70. And that's something we'll never see again, for sure. There isn't a person out there who's played more games or scored more points in a Celtics uniform than John Havlicek. He's fifth in rebounds, top two in assists and free throws made. His Boston Globe National NBA writer Gary Washburn now on Hondo's legacy. Before there was Pierce or Bird or McHale or Garnett or Allen or Irving, there was John Havlicek. Although he never played with a three-point shot, John Havlicek remains the Celtics' all-time leading scorer piling up 26,395 points in his illustrious 16-year career. Hondo was the branch that connected the Cousy Russell era and the Celtics title teams of the 1970s. Those 1970s teams aren't talked about much, but Havlicek joined JoJo White and Dave Cowens for another version of the Big Three to win championships in 1974 and 1976 under coach Tom Heinsohn. The original sixth man, Havlicek was named to 13 All-Star games and averaged 22 points a game in the playoffs, and he was also named the 1974 NBA Finals MVP as the Celtics defeated the Milwaukee Bucks. But Havlicek's most famous moment occurred in 1965 when he stole the ball in the waning seconds of Game 7 of the Eastern Finals against the Philadelphia 76ers, prompting announcer Johnny Most to give his most famous call of Havlicek steals the ball. Havlicek retired after the 1978 season was considered one of the great small forwards of all time. And his number 17 was raised to the rafters of Boston Garden just a few months after he retired. He eventually moved to Florida, was a board member of the Genesis Foundation for Children, and also a close Celtics observer. Farewell, Hondo. Boston teammate Bill Russell tweeting his condolences. It is getting difficult each time I hear about another contemporary that passes. What is harder is when we lose guys like John Havlicek. He was not just a teammate and a great guy, but he was family. That is how our Celtics teams were. R.I.P. Hondo. Havlicek was voted one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history in 1996. Celtics highlighted his charitable contributions in their statement. He helped raise money for the Genesis Foundation for Children for more than three decades. Born April 8, 1940, died April 25, 2019. John Havlicek was 79 years old.